Hey folks, Brandon Osterbein here. I wanted to talk to you today just briefly about why we always request the claim file in your ERISA disability case. Remember, ERISA stands for Employee Retirement Income Security Act. It's a federal act that governs all employee benefits. So if your employer has a long-term disability insurance plan and you get long-term disability insurance or you're denied long-term disability insurance, then this Act, this federal act governs your plan. And part of that uh, that act is that you are entitled to get a copy of the entire claim file. And this is something that we routinely do in every single case that comes through our doors. Why do we do it? Because you find valuable information in the insurance company's files. For example, I just filed a long-term disability appeal today. And one of the things that I found when I requested the appeal or when I requested the claim file, was that my client never knew in the first appeal that there was a independent claim reviewer, a medical nurse practitioner who was not a doctor, who essentially wrote the denial letter. You got that right. They essentially wrote the denial letter. In other words, what the claims reviewer did was they took the nurse practitioner's content from their medical report, they copied and pasted it into the denial letter, and they changed little things. Like for employee, you'll often see the, the two letters E, E, capital E, E for employee, or sometimes you'll see a date like August 19th, 2019. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be eight forward slash 19 forward slash 19. What they'll do is they'll change stupid stuff. Like they'll put a 0819 2019 instead of just leaving it to be straight 19 and they'll take employee and they'll say you or you were or you are they'll change from uh, present tense to past tense they'll change it around to make it sound prettier and make it sound like they drafted it but they really didn't draft it i was shocked when I was preparing this appeal, because we got this claim file in, and what we found was that after two appeals, two times, this happened with two different claims reviewers. All they did was they took one took a nurse practitioner and one took a nurse disability consultant, again, who's employed by the insurance company that is deciding whether or not to give you benefits. They took that nurse disability consultant's report and they literally copied and pasted it with a few minor changes here and there, and that became their decision. Now, remember, every time the insurance company is reviewing your claim for whether to grant or deny your, your benefits, they have a fiduciary duty to act in your favor. They have a fiduciary duty to review all of the evidence. They have a fiduciary duty to make sure that everything that they do is to benefit you. Now, that doesn't mean that they have to grant your benefits, but it does mean that they have to have an eye towards your best interest. So one of the things that they need to do is they need to tell you who is reviewing their claim file? Who is writing this analysis? They have a duty to provide you a full and a fair review of your long-term disability claim. And if they don't do that, then they have violated ERISA, the Employee Retirement Income Security Act. And that's where I come in. When people are denied their long-term disability benefits, a lot of times you can request a claim file, but gosh, it's like 2,000 pages of documents. And some people are just so overwhelmed by the, the content that is thrown their way and they just don't know what to do. They don't know how to read the long-term disability policy to learn what are the rules, what are the guidelines, what am I trying to do here? So we're trained on how to do that. We have done a bunch of them and we know what to look for when we're reviewing these cases. When we get that claim file in, we know exactly what to look for. You want to look, I'll give you a, a hint right here and now. You don't have to pay for this. This is all free information. I'm just giving it to you uh, out of the goodness of my heart because I think that you need it. When you're looking through the claim file, you need to look at the chronological activity list, or sometimes they call it a chronological activity report. That essentially is a detailed list of everything the claims specialist does during every part of that claim. So for example, in this case that I just reviewed, uh, they said that there was no physician certifying complete disability. Well, hold on, 
because it, you said that on February 7th, but on January 20th, I have a copy of a continuing disability form filled out by my client's physician, her treating physician, who was a specialist, by the way. And it says that I have not released uh, my patient to go back to work. So wait a second. When you say that I, you, you don't have in your claim file a form that is certifying that by a physician that the patient is continuously disabled, well, that's just not true. The only reason we found that is because we requested the entire claim file and we went straight to the chronological activity list and we looked and we looked and we looked until we found something that is useful. Now, just because there's a thousand or two thousand or three thousand pages doesn't mean you have to look at every single page. You have to make sure that you can figure out a good way of sorting that information. And what we have here, one of my paralegals will sit down and break all of that stuff out. So if you have uh, an orthopedic doctor who that you've been going to all of that doctor's medical records that you've already submitted will get broken out into its own file. That way I know what exactly I'm looking for when I'm looking at that file. And we have a certain naming convention for all of our files that we put in the claim file folder so that my mind and my eye can go directly to the things that are most important. This is something that we've practiced and we've worked hard to perfect and we work hard to make sure that we can dive into that claim file and we can find the right information quickly and so that we can win these long-term disability appeals. Remember, if you have been denied already, it's not a good idea to appeal your own long-term disability claim, but it's always a good idea once you're denied, just like that. Go and ask for the entire claim file. They're obligated to send it to you within 30 days. And for the reasons we've talked about just now, that's why we do it. You find all kinds of good information about how the insurance company completely screwed up in making a poor decision to deny your benefits. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions about how to request a claim file or what to look for when you get the claim file, send me an email. I'd be happy to chat with you about it. Thanks.